Bob's new heart has had a problem, and so we've had to go pick him up, and now he needs a heart. Stat! Here we are in the back of the ambulance, ready to do another another heart transplant on poor Bob, who just keeps eating salty foods and fatty things. He's just full of plaque, and hey, come on, come on, cooperate. That's all right. He doesn't want to look. He doesn't want to see this anyway. <laughs> well, oh god, oh Jesus, no, that needs to stay here. Come back. Oh my god, now I'm. Everything is just going to shit. Get out of here. Go on. Uh. Go on. <laughs> Gotta clean this place up. Bob's gonna get all hurt. Like, things are just gonna fly in his face. It'll be awful. Oh, I could use this. Although, I really need to hold it in a better better way than... No, get out of there, watch. His organs don't need to know the time. Oh, God. This is a terrible way to hold it. Oh. Oh, I flipped it around. Look at that. That was like acrobatics. Oh, come on. Now just grab it. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I learned that this is the best thing to use from that brain surgery. Get those bones out of there. Come on, give it a, give it a nice. Oh, sorry, Bob. I did. Oh, god damn it! Would you get off of there? All right. Yeah. Okay. Got that piece off. That piece. Just got to go around and loosen that all up. Loosen up that rib cage. He has the most tenacious bones. They grow back so quickly. I wonder if his teeth are like that. Oh, I bet he has teeth like a beaver. They just keep growing his entire life unless he, like, chews on wood. We can't see because he's got that mask on. Oh, damn it. Get out of here. Oh, sorry, Bob. I don't mean to cut your stomach or your skin or whatever the hell. Can I do it this way? Yeah, that'll be better. Because I can actually see what I'm doing this way. Get that. Oh, sorry, Bob. It's good you're knocked out for this, because... This would be a terrible thing to wake up to. <laughs> Some guy, like, lackadaisically, one-handedly holding a bone saw. And just like, ha ha, ha. I'm gonna get those ribs out of there, ha ha ha. Did it? Did a scalpel fall in there? Just one bone holding it up. Let's get that. Okay. I don't need that anymore. Where... Where's my morphine? Because he is gonna really need it. Oh no, that thing is gonna cut something. Let's see if I can get it out of there before it starts... No? Oh, almost. Yeah. I got that. Okay. Now let's just get that out of here. We don't need that. It's just in the way. He's got so many of them anyway, he doesn't need them. I learned all about that in medical school, where I got my PhD in hot booty. That's not, that's not what my PhD is in. They don't even offer classes in hot booty, I looked. Um, okay, give me, give me one of these. Oh, damn it. <laughs> That one, right there, that one. If somebody would start driving a bit better, I bet it is Trish, because I haven't called her lately. She's like, oh, I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna drive like a crazy person. Whenever he's doing a heart transplant. Oh, I dropped a scalpel in there. That is awful. Come on, cut that. Cut, cut that. Okay, I'll just get the liver out of there. Come on, liver. Oh. Save that for later. Make some pate or whatever the hell. And let's get that the rest of that stomach out of there. <laughs> Come on, Trisha. Uh, damn it. Everything. Oh, it's just... Okay, cut the stomach out. Oh, that came really loose. Oh, that scalpel just appeared. It must be lodged in there. Come on, get, get that, 
get that. Come on. Do I have the morphine anywhere, or did it fall out? It probably fell out. Uh. Wait, that might be it right now. That's. Oh, damn it! Well, this is just perfect. <laughs> and I don't have the other drug to counteract it. Well, get that out of here. Let's let's see if I can do this as is. <laughs> this is the test of real doctoring. Um, okay. I guess I could get a scalpel and chop out that heart. Is that is that the scalpel right there. Uh, uh. Uh, Trisha, look what you've done! Oh, Trisha, Bob is not gonna like this when he wakes up. Is that, is that it? Come on. Cuts. Just cut around there. You'll, you'll find the sweet spot eventually. Oh my god. Uh, is that it? I think it stopped beating. Nope. <laughs> it's just me being high out of my mind. Uh, oh no, come on. Is there another scalpel? <laughs> come on, damn it. <laughs> I'm like right up next to my microphone. Sorry if I'm like screaming at you. Ah. Uh, oh my god, Trisha, you're just driving worse and worse. This is what we get for letting Trisha drive the van. Okay, such concentration. Such, such concentration. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh. We gotta hurry. Bob doesn't have much blood left. Oh no, the heart is having... The heart is being uncooperative. Alright, where's... Where's the other heart? Wait, where is it? <gasps> Did I lose it? <laughs> is that it there? Please tell me that's it. Okay, good, that's it. So let's put that in there. Come on, just get into place. Let's just pat it over there. Pat it. Just give it a nice pat. Oh no. Oh, Bob. Oh, he's so close. Look, he's only got a thousand milliliters of blood left. <laughs> Grab it. Go into place. Oh no. What's wrong? <laughs> Is that even the heart? It's gotta be the heart. Do I need to get the old one out? Let me get that out. Ah. Get out of here. Oh, did the other one escape? Oh, no. Oh, no. Get in there. Get off my hand. Oh. Ah. Wow. <laughs> I just did a heart transplant in the back of an ambulance while high as a kite. Do you know who's the best doctor? This guy is the best doctor. Best doctor ever. God damn it, Trisha. She is going to get just a really scathing email from me as soon as I get back to my office. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. I have successfully transplanted a heart again. Bob better take care of this one because I'm not doing a third one. Damn it. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give me a like, favorite, subscribe, and why don't you pop in for the next one, because I'll be doing another one on Friday, and I think it's going to be a double kidney transplant in the back of another ambulance, because Bob is probably just going to drink cola until he has, like, 50 thousand stones to pass and then it's just going to rip up his insides and it's going to be like oh I need more kidneys I should go back to Dr. Nigel Ooh. and I'll be like well fine let me pick you up in my ambulance Trish drive me over there and she'll be like oh Nigel you never call me how can you never call I'm going to drive like a bad hell.
<laughs> so I'll see you next time.